100% wool. Like I cannot beat that. They sell out before I even finish taking my shower. I want this coat. Bring it back right this second. <sighs> I just love it so much. Emojis, how are you guys doing? This is Karina and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this video has been highly, 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 highly requested. Today we're gonna be trying on 15 wool coats with the wool composition ranging from 10% all the way to 100%. For each of these coats, I'm gonna be telling you guys what I like about them, what I don't like about them, and also hopefully give you guys some tips on what you should be looking out for when you shop for your next wool coat. Okay, so before we start, here are my measurements. I know a lot of you guys are always asking asking me what my height is in order to select the best coat. Today I'm also in a very neutral all black ensemble on the base here. Also I have on a 4 inch platform heel so that makes me just a little bit taller. Everything in this video is going to be linked in the description box down below. If you don't know what the description box is, you can access from clicking on this and then after you click on that you have to click more or show more in order to see everything that is talked about in this video. Okay, first off, we have a light camel coat. So this coat is from Zara, and I got it from the Fall Winter 2022 collection. So if you're watching this video around this time, this might still be available. This is the size extra small, which I believe is the smallest size on the site. I think this coat is supposed to be extra oversized. It's lined on the inside, and it has this arm cuff on the sleeves area. The pockets are also very deep, which I really like. The sides comes with these two slits which I think is really unique and just gives your outfit a bit more shape a bit more movement and flow as you're walking it has 75% wool which is on the higher side of all of the wool coats that i've seen so you know this is going to keep you very warm that's going to match with a lot of your bottoms only thing that i'm not very happy about is the belt it's literally hanging on for dear life by a thread this thread is something that i would expect from a lower tier brand but not from zara from zara i expect something a little bit more sturdier you know in the winter time if you're a little bit rough and you're wearing gloves and you just like tug on your belt this can just snap so if you really really like this coat you might want to get reinforced or just diy and sew on your own belt coat okay so the next coat here is also from zara this one is a gray coat and it has 35 percent wool content so not as much as the previous 75 percent i just checked and i think they've sold out of this one in the canadian side but i'll try to link a very similar one if i can find it on zara's website down there in the description box i absolutely love this coat so much i wore it in this video right here look at this what is this this is what i call actual belt hoop okay not that hanging by a thread kind that's gonna snap anytime you know <laughs> like my mental health <laughs> this has really deep pockets and it also comes with a flap and i think this also has a single button down the front here this is 219 canadian the first one is 230 canadian in terms of the price difference you're getting a much lower content in wool so if i had to pick and suggest i would recommend the first one still and the good news is still in stock a black coat because i know black coats are absolutely my go-to in the winter time and this one right here is a winner okay 100% wool like you cannot beat that when i put this on i just feel like it's a whole other level because it's so soft you guys and it's not one of those coats that are like 100% wool but it's made of like paper i mean because percentages are a relative number you don't really know if it's like 100% wool that's a lot of wool or 100% wool that's like oh how do i say this you can have like one leaf of spinach be like 100% salad but you can also have like a thousand leaves being 100% salad <laughs> I have seen 100% wool coats and they didn't really impress me that much because of how thin they are. Yes, all the materials they use are 100% wool, but they didn't use a lot of that material. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, anyways, you guys are all smart cookies. I'm sure you know what I'm trying to get at, but this one is actually pretty heavy this comes in two sizes small and medium because it's an asian size i got the medium one you can also see pictures of the model wearing it and i think the model has more of a petite frame so this coat looks a lot longer on her it's double breasted which means that the front here can cross together and you can actually button the buttons the buttons are also this like really iridescent pearly white texture which i think is really unique it is not lined on the inside and the pockets are not very deep if you're one of those people that you like to fit you know your air 
your gloves, your earmuffs, your phone, your keys, your wallet, your car, inside your pocket. That's not gonna happen. But other than that, everything else about this I absolutely love. I think it even has this part that I always pay a lot of attention to. It also comes in three colors and is half the price of the Zara coat. So highly, highly recommend. 10 out of 10 for me. Another 100% wool coat this time in a light camel color. This one is by the brand Gentle Herd. It's a little bit controversial, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to include this coat in this video. So two years ago when I first got this coat, I think this was an emerging brand at the time. When I got it, I was actually pretty pleased considering it's 100% wool and it feels fully lightweight and I just like the design the way it flows. However, I think there has been a change in either management or ownership of the brand. I have gotten quite a few messages from you guys telling me that this brand is a scam. I just wanted to clear that up. I don't think they're a scam scam in a sense that you know, like, they're just gonna take your money and never deliver your order feel like it's a scam because they are now a drop shipping service so what that means is when you place your order you're not actually buying the code that's available when you're placing your order the company which is gentle herd then places the order on a third party brand and then you have to wait until the factory produces this code sends it to gentle herd and then gentle herd will ship out the order to you so right now I'm in Canada this code took about like a good six to eight weeks to get to me. Nowadays, everyone is so used to like Amazon Prime. I just want everything delivered before I even order it. Like you're not gonna get that kind of speed with this brand. However, a lot of these brands are on the more affordable side. So you really do get what you pay for in a sense. I also wanna hear from you guys. For those of you who have made the purchase on Gentle Herd side, let me know how your experience has been. You know, did you receive your order? Did you receive your order like 10,000 years later? What did you think of the stuff that you got it? Leave me a comment down below so everyone can see. Okay, so I just checked and this coat is also sold out because I did get it two years or more ago. I will link the general sites down below if you guys are interested in any of their new stuff. I can personally vouch for the quality of their pieces, whether you receive it and how long it takes for you to receive it is a different story now than two years ago, I think, so I can't really comment on that. But yeah, make sure you do your own research before ordering anything. Okay, next coat is from the brand called Daba Girl and this coat has 50% wool composition. I just think this is an absolute functional adult coat. You put it on, doesn't matter what you're wearing under, it instantly transforms you, levels you up without you even putting in an ounce of effort. I have a few coats from Daba Girl because I absolutely love their stuff to death. They are a Korean brand. I'm in North America, so it takes me such a long time to receive any pieces from Daba Girl. And by the time I receive it, chances are it's already sold out. But I still want to talk about this brand in case you are just like me and you love stuff that are like functional adults or you love pieces from an Asian brand, Daba Girl or K Daba is a really really good way to go. So I get all my Daba Girl coats from Yesa, which I'll be linking down below. Um, the thing is they sell out like this. They sell out before I even finish taking my shower. If you see something, you really need to grab it. This is a military coat that I got about two to three years ago. I did however manage to find something similar on Zara and guess what? I sold out too. So I will be linking both down below in case one of them comes back in stock. Just grab it literally right away. <sighs> I just love it so much. Another Daba Girl coat. This one is also 50% wool. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys. I just checked the inside and this coat is actually 90% wool. Still available. Grab it. It makes you feel like a complete successful adult. It has some strands of gray, beige, white all over. The design is flawless. I think it just makes you look so successful. Even if you're wearing something casual like jeans or a hoodie on the inside, I think this coat would really bring your outfit together. One of the downsides of Daba Girl is that all their coats tend to be one size fits most. I think it's a pretty common sizing strategy when it comes to Asian brands. And all of the Daba Girl's coats have this label on the sleeve that you can cut, but I choose to leave it up. I think it shows character. It just says handmade on every single one of the coats. Okay, one more Daba Girl coat. This is more of a relaxed double-breasted black coat that kind of looks like a trench coat from the outside by the design. It is also 90% wool, you guys. I think this can be a really, really great spring alternative to a common trench coat. Most trench coats don't actually have wool content in it, so if you have something like this that looks like a trench coat on the 
outside but still provides that warmth that you might need for colder springs my arm is so tired from holding up coats i'm gonna skip arm day if you compare this coat to the daba girl black military coat design you'll see that there is a stark contrast in terms of how it presents and the vibe that it gives out so the military one gives out a more structured fit like very professional looking super girl boss id gap attitude hence the military term and then this one is less structured if you are on the more petite side like the model it's going to flow so beautifully on you and i think the way that the collar opens and flares out is also super nice waterfally okay guys i just checked and it turns out that all of these daba girl coats are currently sold out right now which is such a shame because they honestly have the best quality coats with the highest wool content so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be linking a wool coats page down below in the description box click on it see what wool coats they have in stock and if you do like anything grab it because i can personally vouch for their quality the price you're paying for it is unmatched you are getting something that is very premium limited edition check the description box okay only v v v v v v i p s recognize this coat right off the bat this is a coat that i got from motif it has 50 percent wool i featured it in this video right here it feels and looks very similar to this gentle herd one both in terms of the color the structure and the design so if you're a little bit sussed out by the gentle herd one because it's a drop shipping site you might want to consider this motif one i am so surprised at the quality of this you guys especially this belt hoop area which we all know by now okay it's a telltale sign of how Good it is this is a metal that is actually removable it's so sturdy i was so shocked when i first received it plus this is supposed to be a very relaxed coat i got it in the size extra small funny part is on the site the model doesn't even show this part which i think is like one of the best parts of this coat so you would only know if you watch my hauls Another motif coat, this one I also featured in the motif video before. If you are a petite girl and you're looking for a long wool coat that doesn't hit your ankles or make you feel like you're drowning in it, this is the coat to go for. This is one of the shorter wool coats that I've come across. I also got it in the size extra small and this contains 50% wool. I love the color. The color straight up reminds me of like a mocha frappuccino. It's double breasted without a belt. Another motif coat, this is is one of my absolute favorites. I honestly would have put this much higher in the beginning of the video if it had higher wool content. So this one has 35% wool. The design is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so, so, so much. This is in stock right now. It was sold out for a long time. And then I guess you guys or my viewers started to harass Motif in a really nice way. So they brought it back. Send them a picture of me wearing this and be like, I want this coat. Bring it back right the second you know in a really nice way if enough people harass them they actually listen and this is i believe the perfect coat on motifs website it just looks so expensive i would choose this over the zara gray coat both of these are 35 percent wool the zara one is a little bit lighter in color and texture and also lighter it's sold out right now and it's very very long the motif one is a little bit on the shorter side but it's also very structured and just make your outfit pop that much more compared to this all in all highly suggest this 10 out of 10 for me sorry 20 out of 10 for me if you guys click on the link and it's still available grab it. it's gonna be perfect chef's kiss for spring okay guys up next i want to talk about these two coats so they're the same coat just in different colors i just want to say that these ones are one of the most value or money winter coats that you can have because they are 50 percent wool content they look really really similar to a lot of the zara coats super structured super long the sizing is immaculate in addition to the wool exterior you get an additional layer of warmth from the quilting inside and the quilt isn't just halfway it's all the damn way so you feel so so warm in this i just love them so much oh my god another thing if you are going to be carrying these coats around like indoors where you're in the mall and stuff you're gonna get an arm workout they are heavy duty they are so warm and they make you look extremely put together even on bad days and if you're not sure which size to get just make sure you check out the sizing chart because it's very very accurate and these coats actually have sizing so they have extra small small medium and large so you're not confined to the one size fits most like the double girl one this light gray fuzzy one is one of my absolute favorite 
because it is just so 3D. It is so fluffy and it's so warm. It's also quilted on the inside like all the way. This is from the same brand as that camel and the black one from before. I think they're sold out of this but in case they are, I will also be linking their coats section in that brand so make sure you check the description box. This is also another brand that I newly discovered and I'm a personal favorite. None of their stuff has disappointed me so far so if you're looking for a coat or anything that's similar to like Zara level quality, feel free to check out this brand. This gorgeous cream colored coat, this is from Dynamite and it has only 10% wool. However, it does feel very very heavy so I'm sure the added ingredients to the coat makes up for its weight. I wouldn't classify this as the actual winter coat but there's always spring. So this is so beautiful especially lighter color palettes as the weather turns warmer. It's always my go-to and this coat is selling out at the moment. I grabbed this in a extra extra small because on the side it said that this coat actually runs a little bit larger. It's lined on the inside and it's extremely long. Very very tall girl friendly. For my last coat I actually wanted to showcase something that is not a wool coat. It actually doesn't have any wool in it. It's 100% polyester. However, for those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you guys all recognize this coat as the functional adult coat to start our functional adult series. This is from Zara that I got 10 billion years ago. I try to find it every single year, but it is a limited edition, so I don't think they will be bringing it back. If you guys can get in touch with them and harass them and let them bring it back, that would be amazing. I'm wearing this in the size extra small and it's lying on the inside and despite it looking like a functional adult coat, it actually doesn't serve any function for winter purposes. This almost feels like a long blazer instead. I just save this for the warmer months like late spring or early fall. You don't necessarily need a coat with wool in it if you are in milder winters. Something that you can be wearing in the warmer weather on top of your layers. There are other coats out there that look really amazing but for a fraction of a price if you don't get any wool in it. Oh you guys, thank you for staying till the end of this wool coats video. I hope you guys liked what you saw and hopefully seeing these 15 different wool coats on the actual human can provide some more insight and inspo for how you want to select your next wool coat or how you want to style yours. And please leave me a comment down below if you are ready for spring content because even though it's hailing outside, I am mentally so ready for spring. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye! Stay happy!